think the three words that best describe my dad from my point of view would be diligent, passionate, and curious. Um, I've seen him display those traits in almost every aspect of his life. Um, and I've really appreciated being able to learn those three traits from him directly. Charlie is the son of a Philadelphia cop, and he never forgot where he came from. And he has often spoken about how LaSalle and his teachers there and the friendships he made there influenced his life. Uh, and, and, and I think very much what he learned at LaSalle, he, he's a giver. Uh, he gives back. He's, he's, as I said, he's, he's very loyal. I don't, he's very loyal to Sal. I don't know if you're aware of this, but he's established a scholarship for sons of firemen and policemen at LaSalle, which uh, is remarkable. Uh, he's been very generous financially, otherwise, uh, comes to and, and speaks uh, to the students. I had surgery at Lankanel Hospital um, one time and my name being the same as his, Charles J. Dutton, I guess it was on the board and much of the staff thought that he was having the surgery. So the amount of visitors that I had during that day um, really showed me uh, the outreach he had, um, you know, in the hospital and the impact, that, the impact he had on people's lives um, that worked there day in and day out um, with him because um, so many people came, you know, to, to, my staging area thinking I was him and then also telling me how great of a of a person he was and how lucky I was to have him as an uncle. Charlie is a mentor and you would be shocked Pat at how many people Charlie has over the years um, uh, helped along with their lives and their careers um, in in medicine and even outside of medicine. I mean the number is is staggering. Um, um, he's also one of the most inquisitive people that I know. Um, so intelligent, I think most people would think of, of Charlie as very intelligent, but lots of people are intelligent and reach a level of, uh, of knowledge and then sort of, you know, but he is reaching into things all the time. He is reaching for new information all the time, not just about what we do in the world of, of women's cancer, uh, but uh, he reads on history and the history of medicine, and he plays the word game, and he's torturing me every day with how he's gotten a genius and I haven't gotten the genius yet. I can give you part of the sort of his humor. So uh, we would talk often, and his uh, children, uh, Brittany and Mac, are uh, several years older than mine, although I've known them since they were infants, and I have three daughters. And I had them, let's say, relatively late in life. And uh, although I'm a psychologist, I was surprised by the drama that having three girls and uh, a wife, four women in one house, uh, would result. So he and I spoke about that drama all the time, what he was experiencing, what I was experiencing. And lo and behold, one day, this arrived. It's a referee shirt with armbands and a whistle in a display box. And so he gave me sort of honorary referee equipment so that I could better manage my household drama. And he let me know that apparently his team at, I think it was Lankanaw, uh, had given him the same thing a few years before. So that's the kind of example of uh, the good humor that he has and the thoughtfulness that he has. I'm really happy to know that he's being honored by LaSalle. And I think he's spent a lot of time um, and effort. And while this isn't something that's been part of my world, I know that he loves LaSalle. I think the short and sweet answer is like, he's my dad, he means everything. I just love him a lot.